Good day everybody, this is Chris uh, back again with The Ancient Scholar and now we're going to go ahead and do a basic ventilator setup. So I have the ventilator plugged in, I have the tubing on, and I have my test lung ready. So let's go ahead and turn the ventilator on. The on off switch for this particular ventilator is going to be right back here. Let me just focus that in. Alright, and you can see the switch right down here, so I just push that. The ventilator will turn itself on. We'll do uh, take a few seconds. Hello. The is now up. It'll let you know. It'll let you know it's starting up. It'll tell you to wait, and it'll just take a uh, oh, about 30 seconds or so to kind of run itself through. So we'll let that go. <clears throat> I'm not using the um, the mixer, so I'll just be doing room air uh, setup. But we talked about how that goes and how we can. Um, attach that to a high pressure gas source. Okay, so the ventilator is now ready to go. and Let's get in here a little closer. So this is the main screen. This is where we start. So if I wanted to do a test of the circuit, I would just hit the green button that says circuit check and I could just touch that and then you hit accept every time you want to confirm that you want to do something. We're going to defer the circuit test today and just talk about the basic setup. Okay, so my basic setup is as follows. I have down here, I have mode, and then I have these buttons on the press screen as well. So what I wanna do is I wanna set this up in volume control and SIMV for my mode. So here you can see I have volume control, I have pressure control, all right? So we're gonna put this in volume control and then I'm gonna hit accept. And then here under mode, I have uh, um, assist control slash CMV, or control mechanical ventilation. That's assist control. I have SIMV, or I have spontaneous as well. I'm going to put this into SIMV, synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, and I'll hit accept. So now what I want to do is I want to put my individual settings in. Let's say that we want a tidal volume of 300 milliliters. I'm going to go here to tidal volume, on, see it says main, I'll select tidal volume, and then with these arrows I will go down, okay, 360, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 300, or 0 0.3 liters. Let's say that I want a respiratory rate of 12, all right, so I'll go here and I'll put this up to 12. Let's say that I want an eye time of 0 0.6 seconds. All right, so 0 0.6 seconds, and you see that it automatically adjusts the flow. And I want five of pressure support. All right, and two of PEEP. And I want to trigger this based off of pressure at two centimeters of water pressure, and that's my trigger right there. Okay, so now that I've got my basic settings in, I'll go ahead and I will take the cap off of the circuit and I will attach the circuit to the test lung. <clears throat> we'll go back here and I'll hit start ventilation. And you can see that we've initiated ventilation. So now what I want to do is I want to set my alarms. So what I'll do is I can from this main here, I can hit more, and that will give me multiple options. I want to go back to main. All right. And what I want to do before I set my alarms is I want to see where the main peak pressure is. And if you guys can see right down here, these can all be changed. So let's say that I want my peak inspiratory pressure to be monitored breath by breath here. You also have a graphical representation of it, but it doesn't really give you a good um, pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that button there, and it brings up all of these different options that I can put in these little bar or these little boxes down here. And right now, this is my IDE ratio. I want to make this my peak pressure. Oops, let's go back there. Make that my peak pressure. Hit accept. All right. So see how I have my peak pressure? And I want to make this my I to E ratio. So I'll go here, I will select I to E ratio, 
and you see that it changed. That's my ID ratio. Put this, and let's make this my, oh, my minute ventilation. All right, and there. So you see that I now have my basic monitoring modalities, my peak pressure, my IDE ratio, and my minute ventilation. So now what I wanna do is, I wanna go ahead and set my alarms. So I'm gonna look at my peak pressure and it's about 44. So I'm gonna hit alarms. I'm gonna select alarms. And let's make my high pressure 10 above that. So we will make this 54 and then I will put my low pressure. Let's put that 10 below that. So let's go to 34. All right. My minute ventilation alarm. Vent ventilation's right around four. So let's go, well, let's make that 10. We'll make that 10. Oops. There we go. 7.5. Five, 9.2, almost there. All right, 10. And then I'm going to make my low minute ventilation. Let's make that two. All right. And my high rate, I'm going to make 25. Or it just stops at 30, so let's make it 35. My high rate alarm at 35, and my apnea, I'm not gonna worry about that since I'm in a controlled um, ventilation. And then I'm gonna hit accept. All right. And you can see these red, these red bars here indicate where my alarms are, and you can see that the little green bar is where my current pressure is, and so my high pressure bar is there, so I'm not running into any sort of alarm situation this time. And then I'll go back to main, and I could continue monitoring um, my ventilator. Um, this little option here is um, an option to tell you what you're doing, so it says transport right now, and you could also just hit hospital or basic, and really the big difference there is the transport mode um, allows you to calculate how much time you have on your oxygen, your, your high pressure um, oxygen source. Um, and that's something we can talk about a little later. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna talk about an alarm real quick. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and increase my tidal volume. Um, and I'm gonna make it high enough to actually trigger a high pressure alarm and I'll show you how you can deal with alarms. So I'll make that, hit accept. Now I have a new uh, tidal volume. It should be large enough, there we go. So you see that the top flash is red. That means that's a severe alarm that we need to take care of. All right. <clears throat> so what do we do? Well, you can silence the alarm here. All right. And then you go ahead and troubleshoot. Okay, oh, well, what do you know? My tidal volume is too high, or maybe I need to reset my alarm. Okay, maybe I need to increase my alarm setting, but in this case, oh, it's the tidal volume that's too high. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the tidal volume back down. <coughs> All right. I'll clear the alarm. It would still remember that that alarm happened, but now that uh, should not have subsequent alarms. And there we go. And that is the basic setup of the Newport um, HT70 ventilator. And that's just a basic uh, setup in um, a volume control ventilation um, in SIMV mode. And I'll be doing additional videos uh, showcasing uh, different options such as using pressure control ventilation and even spontaneous modes of delivering CPAP and bi-level spontaneous ventilation. All right, guys, as always, thanks for hanging in there.